In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when the quotation calculator cannot provide a price and how the administrator can manually provide a quotation to the customer. When the quotation calculator is unable to provide a price, we call this undefined order. For distance pricing, undefined order happens when the distance between the pickup address and the destination address is beyond what the administrator have configured. Now, let's look at an example of undefined orders. According to our calculator, the distance between these two addresses is 34.5 km. This is beyond what the administrator have configured on the back end. That's why you see a warning here which says that it can't calculate the price. Now let's go and check out this order. I'm going to put through this order using the postpaid one account. Because this order is undefined, that's why the puzzle price is zero. Because the order total is zero, there's no payment required for this order. What happens when this order is submitted is the administrator will receive an email notification that looks like this. You can see the order total is zero. That means this is very likely an undefined order that is placed by a customer. Now what the administrator will do is go in and find these undefined orders. Log in as your administrator, go to my parcels, click undefined orders. This page will list up all the undefined orders that your customers have placed. What you do is click on the parcel itself. You look at the pickup address and the vehicle address and you manually decide how much you are going to charge your customer to pick up this puzzle and deliver it to the destination. Once you have decided the price, you click edit. Change the shipping fee, let's say $100. Go to the bottom. And click save. Once you do that, your customer will receive an email notification that looks like this. This email contains instruction to tell your user how they can confirm the order. What your user needs to do is log in, click my account, undefined, and they will be able to see the price that the administrator have manually provided. Select the puzzle they want to confirm the order and click create new order. They would get to the same channel page as the normal orders, but all the information here will be prefilled with the information they have entered when they submit the undefined orders. So what they need to do now is check if all the information is still correct. If it is, agree with the terms by checking this box. Then you just need to click um, review order at the bottom. And we see here that the website is telling us the pickup date is invalid because this was created a number of days ago. So we need to change it to our today's date or tomorrow's date. And review the order again. And if everything looks fine, submit it. If your customer clicks my account, and go into the undefined tab. In this first column, normally you will see a radio selection box, but now they see the undefined words. This simply means the administrator have not entered a price for this parcel that they have requested a quotation. Therefore, they cannot create a new order to confirm this new order yet. 